Hello, good morning, welcome to another weekend vlog. So, if you're new here, hi, my name is Lydia. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. There may be a little bit of background noise. Um, I have you on the plant stand again. And I have all of the windows open in the, in the house. It is a beautiful spring February day here in Alabama. Um, it won't last long. <laughs> we went from the beginning of this week being below freezing. And now it is in like the 60s. So I will take what I can get. So I have the, all the windows open. So you can probably hear traffic. Um, hear the, <laughs> the curtains hitting the plant stand, the plants, whatever. So, um, it is 10.52, almost 11 o'clock, and I have spent all morning, um, cleaning our house. Got up at about 6.30 and, um, have done some, I've gotten some load of laundry, some loads of laundry done, um, dishes, cannot speak, dishes done, um, picked up bunches of clutter, you can tell it is very windy, <laughs> so I have, um, just done everything. What are the plants? Gotten rid of some dead plants that did not make it through the winter. Um, I have been neglecting them quite a bit. Um, whoops. So, um, we uh, had a movie night, and so we had the couch pulled out, and blankets, pillows, snacks everywhere. Um, we started the Harry Potter series for the first time um, this week. So, I had posted that on Instagram. If you don't follow me on Instagram, I'm going to link that, like, right here. Down below, it's always on my channel, but I'm going to put the Instagram handle, like, right here. Um, I post on my stories not too much, but I do post on my stories quite a bit. Um, so, if you miss a week of a vlog, um, because there are going to be... I have a bunch of videos from January that I filmed that I just... I had so many from the project, um that I caught you guys up on that I'm just going to delete and we are going to start current. Um, I have a few, two weekend vlogs maybe, um, from the beginning of February that I'm going to try and get out, um, within this next week. So maybe a two upload week. I don't know. Um, but I'm going to, I'm ready to like be current and, um, not have those old videos like hanging over my head. So, um, I don't even know what made me say that. I can't remember at this point. Um, Oh, the Harry Potter. So, um, I posted on my story that we were watching Harry Potter for the first time, and I offended a couple people. Um, whoops, I'm so sorry. I have never really thought about watching the Harry Potter movies. Um, I have watched clips of a few of them. Um, I've never watched, I don't think, any of them fully. Um, I had seen, like, a couple clips, um, in the first movie, and then I may have watched, um, a little bit of the second movie. We haven't watched the third movie yet. Um, we have to go finish the second movie tonight because we fell asleep. <laughs> but um, we are watching the Harry Potter movies. Love it so far. Um, the first movie, I just keep saying that it feels like a little warm hug. I don't know. The music, like, just how they filmed it. I just love it. So, with that being said, um, I am going out <laughs> to go spend the rest of my Saturday. Um, so, first things first, I'm going to take care of these claws. Um, they have grown out. This one chipped, like, weeks ago, and I just let it come off and shaped it a little bit. Um, not very well. All of these fingernails, just, like, the dip is chipping off of them. Um, particularly on this hand. Um where I have a little, um, I got a new laptop at work, and so it didn't have, like, the numbers, if you know what I'm talking about, you know, um, but it didn't have, like, the numbers, it only had the numbers at the top, and I can't do that, like, I input a lot of numbers throughout the day, um, and so I bought a little number pad thing, um, and so I click and clack on that all day long, and so this hand, Takes the, these nails take the brunt. Um, and the nail guy that did mine last time, he did not shorten them enough. And I am not the type to correct anybody. So, um, I'm going to get my nails taken care of. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do to them, but I'm going to go get them taken care of. Um, we have a lot of leftover meals this week from last week. Um, we had dinner out multiple times this week. Um, we had to go pick up Lucas's truck. We had some work done on it. So we had sushi for dinner that night. We had, um, dinner at my mother-in-law's this week. And so we've just been a little all over the place. I made soup that we have eaten on a couple nights this week. 
so um, I think we are good on groceries like that I do need to get a few like snacky things um, I want to get some sandwich stuff so we have lunches at work um, and then I need to get like garbage bags and just like stuff like that so um, it won't be like a full Aldi haul but um, I also look different. I went to the eye doctor yesterday, um, and so they fit me for some contacts. If you don't know, I used to wear contacts all the time. Um, I probably, I haven't worn contacts, like, heavily since I started my YouTube channel, so you wouldn't know. Um, but I wear, I used to wear contacts heavily, and then, um, like, developed an allergy to what contacts are made of. I know that sounds weird, but that's what the eye doctor said, so I'm just gonna go with it. Um, so... Uh, Typically, I only wear contacts when I'm in Disney World. Um, and so I told her that, and <laughs> she really wanted me to try these contacts. So I'm giving them a shot. They are not bothering me so far. I um, have worn them since yesterday about this time. So they're pretty great. Um, I will probably stick to glasses until we go to Disney World and then let that be like the true test of how they work. Um, I just don't love wearing glasses into the parks. Um, because I literally, quite literally, cannot see without them. Um, I could almost be close to legally blind at this point. Um, maybe not really, but I really can't see a thing um, without glasses or contacts. So, I would hate for my glasses to get broken in the parks and then not have contacts or extra glasses or anything like that. So, I like to stick to contacts in the parks. So, now that I've told you all about my eyes, um, let's get rolling. Okay, so I am done with the nail salon. Here they are. I just did some glitter. Um, it was like super cute. It is, not was. Super cute like multicolored glitter. Um, uh, with like a, it's just like a clear underneath it. Um, I always do dip. So it could have been a little more glitter or less. I wish it would have been a little bit less. Um, but it turned out really, really cute. So, now I am, I don't know what I'm going to do, um, now I'm going to, I don't know, I don't know what I'm going to do, um, but I'll bring you along, um, and then, as you saw, I got a few things at the thrift store, so I will show you that when I get home. I am fading fast, I am tired, um, Probably because I was up at like 6.30 cleaning our house. It is now 2.33. I spent a really long time in the thrift store. Um, the thrift store that I went to, I normally don't find anything like clothing wise for myself. Um, because I don't have the patience to dig gen like usually at this thrift store. It's a little unorganized um, and you really have to dig to find good things. But I did take the time to pick through everything and picked out a few good things um one of my resolutions this year was to thrift quality pieces so um Shein is all in the thrift stores um and there's nothing wrong with you shopping at Shein if that's what you want to do I used to um but I found that I didn't like the material that the stuff was made out of I didn't like the quality um and so if I'm not going to buy it from the Shein website, um, app or whatever, then I'm not going to thrift it because I can do better, um, like quality wise and stuff. I want good pieces that are going to last. Um, saying that, I do have a few pieces from Shein that I absolutely love, um, and I'm so glad that I bought them. So, don't ever feel sorry don't ever feel shamed for like where you shop you do what you want to do what you have to do um for me I just don't ever like the way that Shein really fits me um and I could be saying that wrong Shein Shein whatever um but for my you know confidence and my you know self-esteem it helps for me not to buy Shein clothing so with that being said, um, I picked up a few pieces that I really, really love um, and have some ideas of how I'm going to style it. So I will show you those when I get home. Um, I think I may venture into town and I may stop at TJ Maxx. I may not. I'm ready to get home. Um, I did not get a chance to read um, the book that I was wanting to start. Um, I just finished yesterday afternoon. Um, 
a four book series that I've been reading on the last few weeks and it was so good. Um, it was called the Red Queen series. Um, I have a twin sister and so we generally um, whatever she starts doing I love to copy her. So it started with plants last year um, and I became a plant lover and um, she is like a really big book reader. Um, and I'm really, really, really trying to stay off of my phone this year. Um, my screen time is embarrassing. So, um, reading books helps me to pass the time, and I love to read. I just can't, like, shut off my brain, um, from that, like, doom scroll. So, um, if you want me to make a video about what I've been doing to help with my screen time, let me know, because, um, this week I have implemented something new, and it has literally changed the game for me. Um, but, um, I finished that four book series, um, yesterday. The last book was like 600 pages. So she has me like a list of books to read that are a mile long. So I finished the Red Queen series. She told me to read this as like a palate cleanser. And then she wants me to read the Cruel Prince series. So I'm going to start that. Um, they are in Orlando right now having the best time. They went to a, um, Universal Informer Meetup. So they are spending two days in um, Universal. So um, I'm going to pick up. She will only let me have a couple at a time. So um, you probably can't see. Maybe you can. I have two books of hers. And then I'm surprised she let me have a third. <laughs> so hopefully I can finish this book. It's only like 350 pages, which I can breeze right through. Hopefully I can finish it this weekend. And then um, get the Cruel Print series. And then she has maybe another like one-off book for me to read and then she wants me to read the Harry Potter series um I also have a book from a subscriber Amy that she sent me that I need to read um and then I have um Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes that my aunt lent to me that I need to read and get back to her that was like before Christmas um so that's terrible I need to get that back to her um so, I have been in my reading era. I had a goal to read 20 books this year, and I definitely think that I will hit that. I think that Cruel Prince book was the sixth book this year, so I'm way ahead of schedule. So... With that being said, that's what I'm reading. If you want to hear more about how I am staying off my phone, please let me know because I would love to make a video about it um, with some like tools and tips and things that I'm doing and using. I work like at a corporate, like a corporate job, so I sit at a desk on a computer all day long, and so um, that tends to make me scroll and I could get rid of social media but I, I like to I like the community on Instagram it doesn't really give me anxiety um my travel agency business is over on Facebook um and TikTok I find tons of like fun you know travel agent ideas YouTube ideas um Disney trip ideas all kinds of stuff so I really don't think right now I need to get rid of them in the future that may be a thing that I need to do I just need to get rid of it um, but with what I've implemented I think that keeping the apps on my phone are, are is okay for right now can't get it out so I am going to head into Coleman see what I can get into um, I don't really have anything planned Lucas just left um, so I could go back. Not that I'm avoiding him, but he just left the house. So I would love to maybe not go home right now um, and just sit by myself. Um, I could go to the bookstore. I have tons of books, though, so I really don't need to do that. I don't know what I'm going to get into. I may go to another thrift store. I just visited a thrift store by our nail salon and did not find anything. Um, I'm also going thrifting next weekend with Brennan. We are going to find, um, trying to find maybe some pieces for her Disneyland trip that is at, that is at the end of March. My word, <laughs> I cannot talk today. Um, so we're going to go just thrifting. I love to thrift and I love to thrift with like things in mind. So I don't know what else to say. <laughs> I need to figure out what I'm going to do. Um, I'm just going to drive, and if something sticks out, I'll pull over probably. 
Okay, so I am home. I decided not to go anywhere, just come straight home. Um, I've spent enough money and enough time out today. So I wanted to show you what I picked up at the thrift store really quick so I can get them in the wash um, and start using them. So this is the thing that I am the most excited about. Um, it is this cute, oh my gosh, I just can't get over it. This cutie little plaid dress. The material uh, is like thick, but not too thick. My thoughts for this dress, um, my first thoughts, are this would be so cute in a Disney park with um, some leather ears. I don't know if y'all have seen the trend recently where people are putting ribbons around their leather ears, but some white bows, oh my word, with either like, I have some New Balances, the um i talked about them in a blog i'll put that up here i think it's over here um platform new balances holy moly that would be so cute the next thing that i bought i normally don't buy things like this because i mean i don't know what really the difference is between buying used clothes and like used pajamas but these literally look brand new um and they may still have a tag on them if i look hard enough but this little pajama set pajama set um, with little Mickey's penny, I just got home and she is like itching to get inside. So this cute little pajama set, it literally looks like it's never been worn. Um, I want to become a pajama set girl instead of just like a big t-shirt and ratty shorts kind of girl. Um, so these are so stinking cute. Um, obviously I'm going to wash all this stuff. So even if you do think that buying secondhand pajamas is grody, um, they will be washed on the hottest setting possible. The next thing that I bought is just like a simple white t-shirt. I liked the fit and the cut of the neck right here. Um, I don't see and I didn't see. I try, I get really excited sometimes and I buy something and then there's inevitably like stains and picks and holes. Penny! <laughs> Um, because I did not like look through it good enough, but I checked this over and over. Um, and so I didn't see anything, but I loved just the way it fell on me. So just a simple white t-shirt. Um, I'm a layers kind of gal. Um, so who knows what I'll wear that with. Um, but I thought it was really cute. The next thing that I purchased is, it may not be very popular with everybody. Um, I did not get very... <laughs> excitement like excited um answers from my sisters when I ask if they liked it but it is like this little like tennis not even a tennis dress I don't even know what you would call this um but again this with some like um like my new balance wedges not wedges platform tennis shoes um, so cute. And then it's got this like waffle texture. Um, it does look a little bit faded, but I think it needs maybe like, it just kind of looks me. Um, not bad. I think it would be like, it just used, it needs like a good wash. Um, it is faded glory and it was half off. So, um, why not? And then the last thing. The last thing that I picked up is this, um, like, kimono, um, situation. It is a Target, like, universal thread. I don't know how old it is, but it looks brand new also. It is, like, so long. <clears throat> the girl checking me out thought it was a curtain. <laughs> um, but super cute. Um, if you know me personally, then you know that I used to wear kimonos every single day all the time. So I got rid of all of them um, because I just didn't like the way they really looked on me. I was sick of them. Um, I'm still trying to find my style. So all of those things are like so different from each other, but also super, super cute. Um, I am going to get the tags off of these and um, swap some laundry over and hopefully I can get those in today. I have baskets upon baskets of things that need to be washed. Um, just to be completely honest with you guys. Um, so I need to empty the dishwasher, let the dogs in, fold some laundry, swap over our comforter into the dryer. So we have a dry comforter tonight. Um, today was sheets washing day. And I try to wash our comforter every, especially like definitely every month. But um, like every two weeks is like 
the goal. Um, and then I need to edit, 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 because tomorrow is Sunday and I need to get a vlog out. Um, so, whoa, sorry, that did not sound good, I'm sure. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. I also need to clean out our spare bedroom and the spare bedroom closet because I don't, I have not shown this to you guys yet, but hold on. Sorry, this tripod's not working with me. Um, we have new luggage. Um, these were gifted to me by a brand, the Fuel um, luggage brand. So I need to get these like put together and into the closet. Good morning. Um, so I am ready for church. It is 7.33. I'm about to leave to go to worship practice, but I want to go ahead and start today. I don't know what all we have planned. Of course, literally the dogs have not barked all morning. <laughs> and they do when I turn the camera on. So, um, I don't know exactly what we have planned today. I need to, like, meal prep breakfast. Um and do some stuff like that. The house is clean because I cleaned it yesterday. Um, we finished all of the dishes except for our two popcorn buckets that I just need to wash out and set to dry. Um, but I have a little um, housewarming gift that I need to get together for um, one of the ladies on the worship team um, before I can leave. And then, I don't know, what else? I'm a little early this morning. I've been up since six o'clock. Um, <laughs> I don't ever sleep late. I wish I could, but I am always up early, but I also go to bed pretty early as well. So I'm going to get this, um, little, like, um, she had a housewarming party and I was not able to attend. Um, so I got her two, um, I'm so sorry. I got her two dish towels and then um, a really good smelling candle. It's like, it's red lava and citrus from Walmart and it smells so fantastic. It smells like oranges and it's citrus, lemon, orange, mango, tropical fruit, and musk scent notes. So very citrusy. This would be a good candle to light after you clean. And then this butter dish. This is the butter dish that I have. My mom has. We love it. So, um, I thought this was a cute little gift. Um, I'm gonna, I think these two towels together are really cute. I may like, throw this one over, get it like taken apart. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, so I did the best that I could with what I had. I have no more baskets. I don't want, that is what I typically give gifts in. Please ignore that. That is my husband's. Um, but that is what I typically gift things in is a basket. But all we have is this bag. So the butter dish is down at the bottom and then the towel is hanging over the top. And then um, the candle's right there. I could do some like paper, like the tissue paper. Um, I don't really know if there's a need to, but I'll do it just for fun. Okay, so just a little tissue paper with the little towel hanging over. This is not the cutest, um, but it is a gift. And I think she'll like it. Um, so I need to head out to church. I will see you guys when it's over. Hello, good afternoon. It is 1.45. My dad um, came over and had lunch with us and he is out looking at a truck with Lucas right now. So I am about to change out of my church clothes into pajamas and go like take a nap and read my book. Um, so that is what I plan on doing this afternoon. I also have some, um, I also have some invitations that I need to make for a, um, wedding shower that I'm helping with and, um, a few other things, but I'm tired and I need a nap. So I will probably go take a nap for a couple of hours. Our house is clean. So, um, I feel like I can, um, 
but yes we had leftover fajitas from last night i really didn't update you guys um with what all we got into we watched um harry potter we watched the newest young sheldon episode and we made fajitas and just had a really good time so we ate the rest of those leftovers for lunch today um and i may make some homemade alfredo for dinner if we are hungry um but yes um church was great i am so glad to be home and um i'm ready to get a little nap good evening it is almost 6 30 and i have been napping off and on all day um so this has been the most boring weekend vlog ever but it's a video and some people may like this i love to watch people's um <laughs> what is going on there's something flashing on my camera whatever um i love watching people's just day-to-day -day life so i'm assuming you guys do too if you uh, are subscribed to me but i am about to make myself some dinner and then lucas is playing games right now but we may watch um the rest of the third harry potter movie that we started so i am going to make these trader joe's soup dumplings um and then I have a eat invite to make and then a um, hostess gift to order. So just some things that I can do for my phone. Um, so I'm just going to wrap this vlog up here. Um, if you like this video, give it a like, comment, subscribe. Um, let me know down below. Uh, we chatted about, I'm sorry, the dog. Uh, we go over this every single week. <laughs> it feels like um but as i mentioned earlier on in this vlog if you're interested in kind of seeing what i'm doing to stay off of my phone um let me know i'd love to make a video on it but um thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye guys